Andrew Harapool, Getty Images Despite the public warming up to President Donald Trump, the mainstream media's onslaught against him has continued to be mostly negative during the first four months of this year. Robach, I don't think as long as Donald Trump is president Iran will be doing a lot of high-fiving from mid-December to the end of April, the president's approval rating saw a rise from 37% to 43%. During that same time, however, the media's evaluative statements about him were 90% negative, according to a media research center, MRC, study of all evening broadcast news coverage. The findings nearly mirror those from a similar MRC study conducted last year, which found that 90% of the coverage of the President Trump's first year in office was negative and just 10% positive. Unlike 2017, however, the public appears to be more satisfied with him. The 1065 Network Evening News stories about President Trump and top administration officials from January to April amounted to roughly one-third of all evening news airtime, compared to the measly 10% devoted to former President Barack Obama in 2015 and 2016, trips the Motivilla, Getty images of that coverage, 39% focused on the president's scandals and controversies, with 45% focusing on policy issues, and the remaining coverage targeting controversies surrounding Trump officials. Right after Trump pulled out of nuclear deal, reporters yell questions, Trump has just six words. The Russia investigation received the most airtime, taking up 321 minutes, or nearly one-fifth of Trump-related news coverage. Meanwhile, the Stormy Daniels scandal and other allegations against the president involving women totaled to 92 minutes. A whopping 97% of statements made on air in regard to these topics were negative. When it came to policy matters, President Trump fared slightly better by earning 81% negative coverage amid intense scrutiny on immigration, Syria, and gun rights. Despite groundbreaking progress with North Korea, that topic still received 68% negative coverage. However, the president received some praise for most of his economic agenda, including job growth, tax reform, deregulation, and infrastructure plans, and garnered 73% positive coverage. Robach, CNN Sacosta asks Sanders question about military strategy, Sanders' response brings the house down.